Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Evil Mage, and today I am back in SnowRunner. In the last video, we finished uh, stage one of Order Master Supreme. This time we'll take on stage two here. We have the concrete slabs already loaded on our twin steer over in Mountain River. We have a trailer over there for the two cement, but we don't have any way to load it yet because it won't attach to the twin steer. That just leaves the metal beams to unload, and that is why I've got the uh, sideboard on the uh, Fleet Star over there, over here. So, oops, turn some lights on. And we'll go get the metal beams on our way over to pick up the trailer and meet up with the fleet or with the uh, twin star. Twin steer. I can't speak today. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. All right. So we have... I don't remember what the spot's called. We need to go right here to pick up the metal beams. The factory. Thank you. I couldn't remember if it was a warehouse or a factory or what they called it. Ouch. Come on, pay attention. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but that looked violent. <laughs> These big super contracts at the end of every map make it really hard to keep my videos short because <laughs> even the stages are long. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we'll try to keep this under a half an hour. I doubt we'll be able to get stage three done in this video. And still keep it that short, though. So we might have to do three episodes on Order Master Supreme. But that's okay. If that's what we got to do, that's what we'll do. Alright, restore, pack, off we go.
All right. Time to zone over to Mountain River. I'm going to head down the hill over here. Okay, gotta be a little careful here. Okay, stop that engine, switch to the twin steer. We need to get this turned around. Which is easier said than done, but we'll get there. That is out of the way. Okay. Uh, activate the anchor. Yeah. Cement.
Okay, restore the crane. All right, we are all loaded up and ready to go. All right, get up the hill here. And we'll head over to Pedro Bay. We need the factory stock loading and warehouse loading, huh? Unfortunately, that kind of means the metal beams are probably in the wrong spot. That's okay. If I had the beams in the trailer and the cement in the truck, which had I been thinking about it ahead of time I would have done, then I could drop the metal beams off first and just dump the trailer for the rest of the stage. Although, I might end up needing that trailer, so maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I do want to keep it with us. Okay. I don't want to ride this edge right here. Uh, that way I'm not in the mud, but I'm also not sliding down the hill into the rocks. OK. 
Okay. So that went well. I've got repair points and fuel right there in those trailers. Or at least I hope I do. Okay. I'm going to stop in the middle of the lake here, which you would never do in real life. All right, so the factory and the warehouse are both down the hill. Okay. So we're going to turn there, there. Go over here first. Double back to there and there. All right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. I never reattached the winch when we zoned through. Or when I, I don't know, maybe it was when I shut it, shut off the engine there. Let's go back and get the fleet star, which is still on the lake. Yep. All right. So I hooked up when we came through, and then I dropped it when I turned off the engine to look at the map. Which is fine. I'm going to grab some more fuel there. Perfect. All right. This twin steer is going to be fun to maneuver in a couple places. But I think we got it covered here. If I go into automatic, I lose my, uh, diff lock. need a shorter cable there so that the fleet star doesn't slide off the edge
Okay, good. Come on. <laughs> They're making good progress. They're actually doing really well. This spot right here worries me, though. Yep, because of that right there. Come on. There. Oh, I thought we were through it. I said something. And now we're struggling again. This thing really needs to get moving. Okay. So this closer one is the factory. Oh, no, darn it. So this one needs cement and concrete. Go ahead and throw one of each on there. And then I think I'm going to move the cement to the twin steer with the concrete slab. Then I'll take the Fleet Star over without the trailer and turn in the metal beams. That'll be two parts out of the three.
All right. So unpack. And uh, rain. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to dump the trailer here. Now we need to go back here, turn all wheel drive on, deliver the, f the metal. And I think once I deliver the metal, I'm going to pull up the, uh, the rest of the contract. Make sure I don't have to pick anything up at either of these two spots while we're over here. Although, again, I probably should have brought the trailer with me. Just in case I need more than four slots here. But I don't think I do. There should be a term for what I just, what I tend to do a lot. I end up thinking ahead, but after I act. <laughs> like that. I, I realized, I'm, you know, I'm thinking ahead. I realized I should check something, but I didn't check quite enough things here. All right. So what do we need for the rest of this task? Got everything for White Valley that will finish. Wait. Or not. Really? Concrete slabs, two, and two cargo containers. So that's four slots total. I think. No. Because the cargo containers are two slot, I believe. So that's six spaces. Where do I pick those up, though? 
fix this. All right, concrete slabs and cargo containers. Let's find those. Concrete blocks. And wooden planks. So those don't come from here. Do those come from Mountain River then? I don't even see concrete blocks anywhere. Uh, okay, so much for planning ahead. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave the sideboard there. I know where these need to go. Question is, can I get across the river? All right, we'll give it a shot. I don't know if I can finish this. But we should be able to. Give that a little bump, that's okay. Isn't that, yeah. I was gonna say, isn't that the river crossing? Yes, it is. And there's the blue. I couldn't see it quite yet. And it threw me off a little. Seven point turn here.
Got a little nervous there when it started tipping. Okay. This next part is definitely going to take too long to fit into this video, so I'm going to call this video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And feel free to subscribe to keep up with this or any of the other games that I'm posting. I hope to see you in the next video, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.